Hi Leo, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to be getting your messages for the upcoming week. Um, before I do that, I always send out some healing. So I would like everybody to take a breath, a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth, okay? You ready? Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you some angel numbers. Um, I will post the meeting in the comments after I post the video, okay? So, we have 7, 5, 0, 9. 7, 5, 0, 9. I'm going to write that down real quick. So just bear with me a second. Oh, am I shaking the camera? Sorry. 7509. I'm leaning on the base. <laughs> okay. I wrote it down so I won't forget. And now I'm going to grab your tarot. Okay. Let's see what messages. Oh, here we go. We have for Leo. Pretty quickly they wanted to come out. Oh, no, Leo. There's a tower. We're having a tower moment, or we're about to. Or we did. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Page of Wands. Six of Cups. Oh, Leo, what's going on here? Um, alright, so there was a tower moment, so that would mean sudden change. So if it hasn't happened, it's coming. So just be prepared. It's nothing you can do to stop it. It's going to happen. Um, tower moments happen for a reason. Um, so something's about to crumble or something did. and um, But that's okay because it's just making room for something new. We're getting rid of the old and making room for new amazing things. Seven of Cups says you're going to have choices, you're going to have options, but Eight of Cups says you had to walk away. There was something you had to walk away from. Page of Wands is saying that you're easily distracted right now. You're going to have new opportunities. That's what that Seven of Cups there is for too. You're, you're definitely going to have new opportunities but um right now you're kind of distracted eventually though you're going to have to focus on on a particular path you know you're going to have to like narrow narrow those choices down and and choose but right now you don't have to it's okay we're still uh healing from this tower moment six of cups tells me that you are thinking about somebody from your past are you thinking about your ex what is this Leo oh, let's grab some more cards Cards are flying. Oh, we don't want these cards flying. Eight of Swords, Justice, Eight of Cups, again, Six. So you have three eights, eight, eight, eight. Eight is probably a significant number next week. If you see multiple eights, either eight, eight, or eight, eight, eight. Um, just take that as a sign that your angels are there with you. They are protecting you. They are just there with you in that moment. Okay. I mean, they're always with us, but, um, I don't know. I'm feeling like you might need to feel supported for some reason. So just be aware of that. If you see eight, eight, double eights, triple eights, the angels are speaking to you. <laughs> You're trapped in fear. This is the Eight of Swords. You're trapped in fear. This is probably not as bad as you're making it out to be. You know, you're really worried about this tower moment and what happened. 
well, what's going to happen? You know, you're either worried about the past or you're worried about the future. When really all you have to do is take your blindfold off and look at what it is right now and just take one moment at a time. Justice is saying, yeah, let's bring, let's bring balance back into the situation, right? Let's, uh, let's weigh both sides and then make a decision. You have to make a choice about something. But again, you know, Eight of Cups here is where you had to walk away from something and Six of Swords is set again saying you're moving on from a situation. You're moving on from something. Uh, maybe you are moving on from your ex. Because like this is saying you're thinking about him, but this is, un this is right on underneath it and it's saying you're moving on. So exes are exes for a reason, right? I don't know. Soul family. You don't have to do it alone. Call in your tribe. Yeah, of course you don't have to do it alone. Now you have friends here on earth, I'm sure. And you have friends on the other side of the veil. Always looking out for you. So call on them. If you need your angels to help you, call on them. Ask for them. They'll help you. They'll step forward. They always do. Um, so you don't have to face this alone. If you're feeling alone, don't. The Great Gathering, it's all coming together. You are getting intuitive hits. You, you know, again, this is saying, call it, you have a soul tribe. It's spirit trying to communicate with you that they are here. They are giving you signs. Um, just be open to them. They'll tell you the next steps. You'll know what to do. What lights you up, Starseed? What lights you up? What ignites your fire? What 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 are you passionate about? What's going to make you happy? That's what you got to go towards. That's what you got to, you know, move towards. Makes sense to me. Move to towards your fire, more move towards your light. Move towards your happiness. Right, what else do we got? We got the High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Selfishness, huma humility, conscious action. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> the Rainbow Prince. Okay. Well, let's see. This, this High Lord of Gratitude and Service. I think this is pretty much just saying that you have a lot to be grateful for. You may not see it right now, but you you do. And I feel like you have to be grateful not only for the laughter, but for the tears. Because you're learning a lesson here. A lesson has been learned. And... It is for your highest good. Even though it might not feel like it, it is. You're going to be okay. Like this was a lesson that needed to be learned. So now we're going to move on. <laughs> right? Lesson learned. Move on. And uh, you're going to move towards your rainbow prince. Your rainbow prince is like, you know, what happens in, what happens in the sky after a storm? There's a rainbow, right? And what happens at the rainbow? There's a pot of gold. So... This is saying you're going to be rewarded for your perseverance, right? This You're going to be rewarded for going through this. There's always balance, right? There's always justice. So you're going through something bad right now, but there will be justice on the other side. So we just have to get through this. Um, yeah, we have to go search for that pot of gold because it's there. It's, it's waiting for you. So just... Work through the muck. Come on. There we go. These cards are like kind of new, so they're like stick. The miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through 
nature and fresh air so this is saying if you are really feeling down down if you're really feeling trapped go outside take a walk in nature go in the take a walk in the woods go to the ocean you know sit on a beach sit sit by a lake sit by water moving water um nature is very healing it heals us at the very very least go outside and put your feet in the grass or in the dirt i don't care whichever you prefer um just connect with nature go hug a tree <laughs> it really does center you it does center your energy it does reset your chakras believe it or not it's so healing nature is so so very healing um so do that if you want to feel better get yourself outside go dance in the rain if you have to all right we got release your ex are you kidding me all right so here we go it's your ex for a reason you need to release them holding on to them is not doing you any good it's keeping you trapped it's time to move on mermaid in a koi pond rediscover your indiv indiv individuality become the dragon yeah so for me the dragon in my charms anyway always represents the phoenix rising rising from the ashes right so become the phoenix become that dragon rise from the ashes and like stand in your power you've got this leo you really do now, if the dragon charm comes out, I'm going to be blown away. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to pull some charms for you. No dragon charm. <laughs> that would have been fun. That would have been real validation. That's okay. I really don't need that kind of validation because I know what I'm saying. <laughs> but look, you got smiles. So you will have a reason to smile soon. Okay, it says smiles inside that bottle cap. All right, look, you got home run and you got the football. I know home run is baseball, but I don't know. They kind of go together for some reason. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> I mean, it is football season, so, um, you know, I think maybe you're going to hit it out of the park here somehow, some way, like something you're going to find your pot of gold and you're going to have your home run um during football season how about that <laughs> so i can tell you it kind of crazy um you have the key to success right there that's the key to success could be the key to your heart but i really think it's the key to success what did i say about nature right we got a shell so that's all about nature that is reconnecting with nature that tells me that maybe you should go to the beach if you can, if that you have one near you. Go stick your feet in the water, even if it's freezing cold, just for like a second or two. That's what I think you should do. You got the scissors. You want to cut ties. Cut ties with that X. Cut those cords. We don't that we don't want to be attached to them anymore. We don't want to be attached to what no longer serves us. Cut them. Now you do have a soulmate here. That's soulmate energy right there. That's my heart forever. So I feel like a soulmate's going to be coming in for you. I really do. You have the compass, which means you're going in the right direction. Okay, you're you're not lost. You can find if you feel lost, you can find your way out. You're not lost. You have a compass here. And the last and final charm is the um, Christmas ball. So I think maybe something important is going to happen around Christmas time. I don't know. Anyway, Leo, that is what I have for you. If you like this video or if it helped you in some way, please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because that helps me so much. And I would be so grateful. Very, very grateful. And, uh. Thanks for letting me do this reading for you. Until next time, love and light.